one who struggles hitting the ground before the ball. So when we do that, we're going to end up chunking the ball and not hitting the ball as far as we can. So we want to hit ball and ground and create that divot that's past the ball. So a drill for this, nice and simple, you're going to have ball as normal. I'm going to find something that you don't mind hitting. So I've got a bit, bit of bark. I'm going to place this about a club head behind the ball. And the plan is to avoid that. So, and then you can do it the opposite. So we're going to place a piece of bark just ahead of the ball. And we're aiming to hit that piece instead. And then the third drill to help you hit down on the ball a little bit more is you're gonna roll the ball about two balls forward of your stance, do a normal stance, and you're gonna hit a few shots just like that. It's gonna force you to move your body forward to try and get that connection with the ball. So, I point this down. That's my normal ball position for seven eye. I'm going to move it forward. This is going to force me to move my body and everything to get that strike over here. Then, from that forward position, after a few attempts at that, we're going to roll it back to normal, but still aiming for this part here. can help with uh, hitting down the ball or having that forward divot as the step through. So we're going to set up as normal and on the downswing we're going to start moving our body forward and then step through as soon as we've hit the ball. So this one you need a little bit of time and a little bit of help to focus on the practice swings first and as you step through you want that swing to go through at the same time. It forces that body to go forward which is what, what we want for a better strike. So, a couple of swings. The feeling is when we get back to here, as soon as we start that down swing, we're starting to move forward and then step through. And it's all in one motion. You can tell if you're doing it right if your arms and your body are working together. If your arms are going too fast, then you're going to throw yourself off balance. This is going to be a smooth movement to get that body through. So another version of this is to start with your feet together and then as soon as you're starting to hit the ball you're going to step through. So take your normal stance then bring your left foot towards your right foot and then start the swing from there. So back swing, step, through. All of this is trying to get your balance to go to the left side or towards the target. If we're leaning back or anything like that, we're going to leave the face open and add loft to the club so we're not going to get as much distance as well. 